What's up, YouTube? So we are in Hash House in Campbell. Always have breakfast before you go out and have a big gig. Last night we were preparing, um, like the breakdown and the schedule of the wedding and like what what type of equipment each of us all should use, you know, from different cameras to different angles to what we should be picking up. We're just waiting. I'm waiting on my pancakes. Got an omelet. Nice. Veggie omelet. Got the veggie omelet. Going for that vegetarian style. What'd you get? Mexican hash. <laughs> Got the Mexican hash. And this is not only for the A7 hash, this is just in general. Uh, whatever's at 100 plus is like lost information. And you want to put your skin tones around like 70, 75. Mm. Uh, and I'm just, right now, it's, I believe it's either on S Live or on PB2. It's a pretty big difference between the two. Um, S Live, we're going to be able to grade later. However, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a way longer process. It might not look as good as PP2. However, you have way more latitude and dynamic range in your edit, and way more control. So let's say on, on S log. On S log. So let's say I give. It so I got the pancakes, short stacks with a salad on the side. Fruit salad right there. Got Ambrose with the Mexican hash, getting his Mexican on. We just finished shooting the groom, and that was pretty cool. Now we're headed off to the church for the ceremony. We're done with our part. We're actually a little early, which is which is always a good thing. So we have extra time to set up and prepare. So once we get there, we're gonna have to set up the Ronin to get like an establishing shot because you know when you come into a place you always have to make sure you start off wide then medium then you go in close you gotta keep your eye out for those moments you know those uh, golden moments because these moments are only once in a lifetime mm. so you know you want to make sure you, you're able to capture that and show them that you know how awesome their wedding was that day so you know now we're headed off to the church and yeah So the ceremony is now done and we just packed up and it's bright outside. Starting to put stuff back in the car. Hey! hey. What's up, bro? I'm still, I'm still mic'd up. Do you want my mic or? Um, no, we'll just keep it on you for a while. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, we'll keep it on Okay. Yeah. I'm all like, yeah, man, I don't know where Ambrose is. And like, I'm all like talking <laughs> into the mic. And he's like, man, I'm listening to it the whole time. <laughs> Yo, that was beautiful, dude. Yeah, dude. That was beautiful. That was David, he was the groom, so it was really beautiful. It's awesome, 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 awesome wedding. And now I'm gonna go back and put the stuff in the car. I have to face the nose down, which is this. The battery is the back side. Just finished doing stuff at the park. What up? Yo, what's poppin'? It's poppin'. Really nice. Got some gro drone stuff going on, aka call us drone boys. Drone boys. <laughs> we them boys. Actually, it was Ambrose piloting, so. Yeah, we just watched. <laughs> yeah, we just watched. <laughs> the bridal party are behind us. So they just finished their session with the photographer and the videographer together, getting the romantic shots together. And now we are headed to the reception, which means there's gonna be cocktail hour, partying, dancing, drinking, and lots of fun stuff going on. Mostly drinking. Mostly drinking, so, yeah. So now it's the reception time, it's a little bit more chill. I have some coffee with me. Uh, 
how my camera is set and they're about to do the first dance very soon so they're actually going to announce it all right so ladies and gentlemen our bride and groom are just about ready to do their first dance so we're going to invite all of our guests once again if you can please start finding your seats we're going to close up the bar and the photo booth for just uh, about about 15 minutes so uh, once again if we can please have all of our guests please make your way back into the main ballroom oh my god first dance so cute please put your hands together for the bride and groom for their very first dance as husband and wife. shot this is like the hardest event like I've ever been to it's so fucking organized like you never know what could go wrong and like 50 things go wrong so and much you gotta practice. like fucking deal with it like you know yeah, yeah. It's tough yo it's fucking tough yesterday was a very hectic fun fun day it was really cool you know um, we got to go into production, doing a wedding with Ambrose and John. We got to see a little bit more in depth of how we do weddings and stuff like that. We got to try out the drone, we got to fly it in the church, that was kind of cool. Yesterday, yesterday we were, we were prepared as, as best as we can, but as, as prepared as we can, there are still things that went wrong during a production. You just have to be prepared, you just have to be calm to know and to be able to think it out, to put your emotions aside and keep moving and, and move on to the next step of what you need to do in order to get the job done. And you know, yesterday stuff happened like my lens broke, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. I'll, I'll deal with that stuff in the future. I'll deal with it a little bit later, but I couldn't like, you know, sulk around and just like be sad about my situation, you know, because the wedding was still, the wedding was still going on. And I had to stop whatever I'm doing to be sad because one thing broke. And I pretty much just adjusted what I needed to use. That lens, which is a 24-105, I'll show you guys later. That lens is pretty much like my utility lens, actually. So, like, I use that lens a lot. And, you know, what happened was the tripod, it was on the tripod, and then someone knocked it over, and it just, like, fell. The lens, like, fell right on the ground, cracked everywhere. Very sad. Very sad. But I will have to buy a new one. It's okay. See, here's the thing, you know, things like this happen, and I'm not mad about it. It sucks, but I'm not mad about it, you know, because I know something like this will happen again in the future, especially when you're working with really expensive equipment. When something goes wrong, don't be in a frantic, keep yourself calm, and always think about what is the next step that I have to do so that it doesn't distract you from your job. My question for you guys, have you guys ever gone through a situation where something went wrong during a project and it stopped you in your tracks, but just for that moment? I wanna know how you handle that situation. Let me know. 
I'd love to see how you guys handle your different situations. For me, I try to calm down and think about the next step that I have to do. I want to know what you guys handle your situation. This is Running with Raymond, and we are about to eat some pho. pho. And so I'll see you guys later. Keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe up there and go ahead and comment me below your answer. See ya.